Hi, I'm Mark from the North Shore Commercial Door.com. Today we're going to do a product introduction, and the product today is a Digicode keychain size transmitter in 310 megahertz. It has a part number of DC5072. Digicode uh, makes transmitters that uh, operate on the Lanier uh, multi code encryption. We've done it for years. They're located up in Michigan, and they're one of our oldest and nicest suppliers so we'll open uh, it comes in a nice little envelope I've started to open it already so we'll take it out and you'll you'll see it it's got two buttons on it so you can operate two different devices those could be two doors two gates a door and a gate just depends on what the purpose was by the person that set it up as to what you're going to uh, operate with it it'll also come with a little clip here if you'll notice there's a hole in the top or the bottom of the transmitter. This is designed to clip to it, and then you can clip this transmitter to your visor, or not your visor, but uh, keychain in your car or belt loop on your pants. I mean, use your imagination as to what you can clip it to. It's very small, very compact. It's very popular with uh, latch key children, guys that uh, ride motorcycles uh, like to keep these in their pockets. So. It's a handy little device. One of the most important things in the package are the directions. Everyone comes with directions. What I'm going to suggest you do when you get it, sit down, open it up, read the directions. They're going to give you an inventory of everything that's supposed to be in the, uh, in the bag. And it'll tell you step by step how you are going to train it or program it. And this particular one, you're going to have to open it up in order to program it. There's a Phillips head screw in the back. You'll remove that. In this case, we'll split in half. If I were to take it apart, you'll see there's a brand new battery in there, so you don't have to go out and buy a battery. It's already there. There's going to be two sets of dip switches in here that will need to be set. So you're going to have to get your old remote out, open it up, access those dip switches to see how they're set and then you're going to set these to match. Once you've done that the uh, transmitter should uh, should op operate for you, should go to work. If you're uh, working with it and uh, you're having trouble making it work pick up the phone, give us a call. Everybody here has got a wide breadth of knowledge on how these work and how to help you. So, As I always say, we got them, come and get them, you'll enjoy them. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.